little goblet, but just to make it look fancy. What I have mango juice, wait. I have a mango juice idea. <laughs> mango juice idea. Here's the well, thought. Mango juice thought. Here we go, here we go, here we go. As you know, you have the HR40 that was, you know, that was started by Conyers and, you know, there's a whole history behind that, I guess, you know, because you had all the stuff when they wanted to bring the stuff up to the UN, you know, which Malcolm uh, promoted, but, you know, it came from um, Paul Robeson, and who else, who else, who knows that at all. So the reparations, but, but, you know, but they, they figured out the United States government was the best thing to do, you know what I mean, because your beef is against the government and not against, you know, individuals or corporations, whatever, at least not right now. Okay, so you had the HR 40, and then you, and then you know, um, um, uh, Representative Lee's, da da da, there's a bunch of co-sponsors, it's getting more and more and more, and just recently, last couple of days, announced that Senator Cory Booker is going to put in, you know, a Senate version of, you know, reparations, whether it's a study, we don't know what it is yet, we don't know if it's going to be a study, whatever it is. However he's going to do this bill, whatever he's going to do. So that's going to be another. Now here's my diabolical mango juice thought. Because, you know, Corey has enough time so he can get the, he can get the facts straight or whatever happened. You know what I mean? I mean, not the facts, but he, he, he has a lot to work with. Let's put it that way. Let's see what he comes up with, okay? But here's the thing. Now this, this goes into, I don't know, maybe I should, hmm. I'm going to change hats. Hold on. I'm gonna change hats to my conspiracy theory hat. Okay, conspiracy theory. Here's okay, wait, follow this one. Okay, it's gonna be all right. Just follow this one. As you know, there could be a presidential commission, you know, to study reparations and do whatever they need to do. So, of course, right away, it's a presidential season. Republicans are going to have to be elected at the same time in 2000, whatever, whatever. So, and we could test the waters, test to see what happens. I know people say this might backfire, it might not work, but just follow me on this. We approach Donald Trump. When I say we, I mean, you know, we tend to proper people. And we, like, for instance, okay, I'm going to do a celebrity thing. I know, I know, I know. AD was, you know, who's that called now? And, 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 and Percy Antonio against celebrity. But just, just hear me out on this. When I say only celebrity I'm talking about right now is, is Jim Brown. So they go to Jim Brown and say, yo, Jim, you got to end with the, with the press. You've been in a couple of times. You know, he like you. You know, he, he a sports fan, whatever it is. Well, you know, he would try to start the football league, didn't he? Whatever he tried to start, basketball, whatever he tried to start. Look, can you get us to have a little audience, right? You know, we're going to bring along some Sandy Darity. We're going to bring along some, some Antonio Moy. We're going to bring on some Yvette. I know, I know, I know. But, you know, um, we're going to bring on some, you know, some Claude Anderson or whoever, you know. And, of course, you know, you get us in, you know, and we sit down with, with, with the Donald and talk about things. You know, if you, even how the commission's going to look. We know it's like going to the big daddy and da 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 da. There's a lot of people going to be against it, but, but hey, it's a political season. We got we got a three we, instead of a two prong thing. We have we, we want a we want a three prong fork. <laughs> we want a fork spade to dig in. We're creating a fork spade to dig into the into this matter into this eighty or you know, well, you know uh, American descendant of chattel slavery matter, right? So one prong we got we got the we got the we got the the House of Representatives prong. We got the um, we got the Senate prong, Cory Booker. Now we need you. We need your prong, right? We need your prong. We know where it might lead to, but we need that prong too, because the three fork spade three down in there to dig into this matter. There it is. What you think about that? Come on now, you got to love it. Come on, I know conspiracy theory or not, you got to love it, you know. All three of these people are digging in, digging in, digging in. Now you know they ain't gonna come up with the thing that we want because actually whoever's supposed to solve this thing is supposed to be all eight of us anyway. We don't need we don't need to be going to the to, you know to the people that put us in the situation to try to get it doesn't work like that. This this should be an all eight of us thing. And that'll come later. But now that we're in the presidential season, now until 2020, come on, you got to have some fun. And let me tell you something, conspiracy theories, no matter what you think, conspiracy theories are fun. Yay, conspiracy theories! <laughs> okay, I'm through, I'm through, okay. I'm sorry, maybe it's the maker just make me a little silly, but... That's it, you, just a, 
a little conspiracy theory from, from me, T, from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from a desk of the ADOS, American Descendants of Chattel Slavery. <laughs> oh, the Donald. This is going to be fun.